this, these individuals, the first what I want to tell you is these individuals uh, sleep all day and are up all night. The, the, all 13 of the victims, uh, including and including the defendants, typically go to sleep around 4 or 5 in the morning, uh, sleep all day, and then be up all through the night. The victims report that as a punishment, starting many years ago, they began to be tied up. First with ropes. One victim at one point was tied up and hog tied. And then when that victim was able to escape the, the ropes, uh, these defendants eventually began using chains and padlocks to chain up the victims to their beds. These, as I said, these were, were a form of punishment meted out on these children and these adults. These punishments would last for weeks or even months at a time. The evidence is that three victims were chained up at the time the police first knocked on the door at the home in Paris. The defendants were able to get two of the victims unchained before the police actually entered. An 11 and 14 year old were unchained as the police stood at the door, while a 22 year old remained chained to a bed when the police entered the home. The 17 year old victim that escaped had been working on a plan with her siblings to escape this abuse for more than two years. She escaped through a window and took one of her siblings with her. That sibling eventually turned back, became frightened and turned back and went back into the house. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.